Caitlin Whittle is a student athlete here at Ohio University, but she's much more than that. Here's her story. I want to start with a pretty broad, easy, open-ended question. Caitlin Whittle, how would you describe yourself? That's a great question. What you see is what you get. <laughs> Caitlin is just like a powerhouse, such a good leader. Basically fearless and really put yourself 100% into her passion projects. I've learned that she's dependable. Um, when she first initially came to me, she was already mature. I would describe myself as the type of person that embodies growth. Growth sometimes comes with challenges and setbacks. Caitlin experienced that while in high school. Unfortunately for me, that's when I was struck in the face with a field hockey stick and I broke my jaw. It just looked uh, like we had a mess on our, and we did, but it was just like even looked worse. I was in shock trauma for a few days and had to have facial reconstructive surgery. She just never felt sorry for herself, it was just do it. I had to relearn how to talk, I had to relearn how to eat, how to just use my face in general. You eat through a straw for six months and you're recovering and you lose weight. Her mom showed me the x-ray of her jaw. After my jaw was wired shut for a couple months, I decided that if I didn't jump into playing right away that I would probably never play again. I remember her surgeon just rolling his eyes after he had done this beautiful fixing of everything and he's like, you're really gonna keep Playing. Caitlin turned to wearing a mask, and once she got to Athens, that process was evaluated even further. Figuring out what type of mask would be the best mask, make sure it was legal to play. Reaching out to John Bowman, she made the trek from Maryland all the way to Michigan to get it fitted to her face and molded. The thing you got to train yourself on is don't turn your head like you're scared because the mask is on the front. Let it, if it's coming, just... The fact that she played so freely and with with no fear just absolutely blew my mind. I just knew right away this kid has something in her. Whittle played in all 16 matches as a freshman, growing into her role year by year. My playing style is unique. She's one of our leading goal scorers. That's the forward's job. But it's when she works extra hard to get back on defense. And I look at her through her little, whenever I see her, like her eyes and she's focused, she's like laser beam focus. It's awesome. <laughs> In March, 2022, Caitlin's focus expanded beyond the playing field. What sparked my decision to start Morgan's Message was the death of Katie Meyer. I looked up to her and she was a great influence in women's sports. And I saw that there was a need in athletic departments across the US that mental health needed to be a priority. And I just said, this is amazing. You need to talk to Tia, you can do this. She went off and she took everything I said and made it her own thing. Caitlin sent me an email with the description of what Morgan's message was and I was like, yes, how, how do I help you? What do you need from me? Everybody has something going on. You never know what anybody's going through. So just creating a community by student athletes for student athletes was really, really the key. Once Morgan's message was launched on campus, it became a starting point to facilitate conversations further. The ripple I see is people coming in and saying, my teammate or my roommate told me I should come get services. A lot of student athletes actually come in here personally to come and see me. They are coming out and they're thriving and you can see the difference in the department. Last year, more than 20% of our varsity athletes had at least one appointment, one mental health counseling appointment. And having an athlete start the program, it's just a, it's a tighter connection. It's, it's so powerful. So powerful that it took Caitlin's growth beyond just herself. I just saw a side of her where she was much more outward focused in everyone else. We started Mindfulness Monday series talk about how are we feeling in our body at this moment and it's awesome just to have a group of student athletes together. It's okay to have bad days. It's okay to not feel like you're good enough and that you doubt yourself because you're not alone. Although Caitlin's journey at Ohio comes to an end after this season, her impact will be here forever. Morgan's message is not going anywhere. That's not something that will go away just because Caitlin leaves. 
bringing other people into the organization and getting them involved. Her awareness to know that we need to talk about mental health much more. Caitlin Whittle is here to stay. Allie Johnston, your head coach, what has she meant to you here at Ohio? Coach Allie has been amazing. I cannot thank her enough for, first of all, just giving me this opportunity to be a Bobcat and providing me the space to be myself. I do stick out sometimes wearing the mask, so that's a way to remember me. I just want to be remembered as a great teammate, a great leader, and somebody who inspired the Bobcat community.